Are we rolling? We're rolling. Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here, Jaws Podiatry. So we find ourselves right now um, in our lab. Um, today we're going to be performing a regenerative case. Uh, we're going to be performing a platelet-rich plasma injection. Uh, and I will go yeah. ahead and, uh, and thoroughly explain the clinical presentation to the whole world so they understand why we're doing what we're doing. Uh, right now, um, we drew quite a bit of blood um, from the patient, and we're already actually spinning it. Um, this is the first part, or the second part. The first part, we draw the blood. The second part is now we centrifuge the blood. And when we centrifuge the blood, the purpose is um, to have the blood separate into good and bad. Now, the bad we throw away, and the good we keep. And um, the good, the PRP, the platelet-rich plasma, contains growth factors, important cells that aid in the regeneration of the damaged tissue, and it lowers inflammation uh, long-term. So, again, part one, we drew the blood, part two, as we speak, that's exactly what uh, what we're doing for about 30, 40 cc's of, of uh, whole blood. And um, then I'm gonna go ahead and explain to everyone, to the whole world, what are we going to treat? So stand by everyone. Okay, we went from the lab, now we're in the examining room. We are here with a, a very young patient who has... <laughs> that has presented um, to our office once again with, um, with a chief complaint of severe pain to the side of the right foot and ankle. Um, the pain has been present now for about six months on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the worst. 10. 10 out of 10. After careful examination, diagnosis, are you guys ready? Insertional peroneus brevis tendonitis. Exactly. We have two very important tendons that run on the side. Okay, they start right around here. When they get to the fibula, okay, this is the fibula. Okay, the ankle joint is made up of three bones, the tibia, fibula, and the talus. When it gets to the fibula, it makes a little U-turn right here. Okay, the peroneus brevis and the peroneus longus. Brevis, short. Longus, long. So both of them are, they start here again, they kind of go like this, and then they make that U-turn. Okay? Oh my God. You see, what, you know, this is a very faithful, you know, patient. The, the first time that she was here two years ago, she, she enjoyed uh, coming here so much that she got a tattoo just like this one, right? Let me just cover this. She had a tattoo and then she, you know, of a butterfly, but then she also was inspired, I guess, and did one for Jaws as well. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. Anyways, let's uh, one second. I'll just put it here. Okay, well, just okay. Just so we give a little bit of privacy there. Okay. Um, so uh, what I've done here, uh, on a serious note, we have the fibula here, and then uh, the pink is actually the tendon. Which tendon? The peroneus brevis tendon. Uh, here is, in black, we have the fifth metatarsal, okay? This is the fifth. We're looking at the foot. One, two, three, four, five. The fifth. Then the fifth metatarsal has this little bone here, okay? This is called the styloid process, okay? And you guys see that it kind of just comes out a little bit this way. And that's exactly what we're looking at here. And this is exactly where, where the tendon attaches. So... Uh, again, two tendons, they kind of go like this, and then they make a U-turn here, then one of them, the peroneus brevis, attaches there, and the longest uh, goes underneath the foot and attaches somewhere in this part of the foot, right? So the patient has 
a chronic inflammation right there. This is extremely common. People from all walks of life. This is not only um, this. This is not only uh, seen in athletes, runners. Anyone can actually get this. Ex excruciatingly painful. Yes or no? Yes. So I have recommended a platelet-rich plasma injection, as mentioned before, to continue our efforts to maximize improvement and minimize any long-term complications. I've said it in the past and I'll say it again, PRP is uncomfortable. We have already, uh, we performed what we call a V block, like this, it's a V. And even when we, even when we perform these local nerve conduction blocks, there could still be pain involved in the procedure. Doror? No. Okay, excelente. When, when I was pressing here before, the patient had a lot of pain. So, without further ado. You've um, you know, demarcated the area. Ultrasound guidance is the key. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Okay, no. I just wanted to bring my foot up a little bit more. You may, to... you, let me just hold this. You may do. Okay. You're scaring me. <laughs> You're scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean we're scaring each other? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, again, fifth metatarsal, tendon, right about here. You may feel a little pinch, maybe, maybe not. Are you okay? I'm okay. Excellent, so am I. Here we go. Mm. What was that? Mm. Okay. You may you may feel a little bit of discomfort. Maybe, maybe not. How are you feeling, patient? Um, I can feel a little bit of discomfort. I can feel it's going in now. Okay, how about... How about here? Mm. No? No. No, right? Huh? No. Okay. So, you know, when we talk about, you know, the block. Tabi? Yes. No pain, right? No. Ooh, just a little tingling. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A lot or little? A little. Okay. Tolerable? Um, yes. Okay. So, you know, I like to really infiltrate slow. This is not like a cortisone injection where we, you know, and we'll stop here a second. I'd like to redirect, right? Because the tendon is, when it attaches here, it's like a fan, right? It fans out. Okay. And it, and it, and it also inserts underneath. Here we go, patient. Pain? Yeah, a little. Pressure or pain? Well, no, you're you're going through some discomfort because of what I because of, of what I already infiltrated. Mm -hmm. Okay. So any discomfort now? No. Okay, good. That's it. So what she was feeling before is the aftermath, so to speak, right? The aftermath. This should not hurt, by the way. What I'm going to do now, it should not. It should not. No. Okay, and just very, you know, no hurry. These are very, very fragile. How are you doing there? I'm hanging in there. Oh, right there. Okay, so then, you know, sometimes we just back up a little bit like mm -hmm. that. No pain, right? Oh, right there. A little bit? Okay, so we'll stop there a second. 
yeah. When we talk about when we talk about regenerative medicine, I want to be very very clear with the public. Do your homework. Honestly, do not do not just go to someone who does not have experience with regen medicine. I've said it before, not all doctors are created equal. Whether it's PRP, these are living cells. Whether it's stem cell therapy, real stem cells, ladies and gentlemen. No, because this, you know, there, and, and again, no, no names here, no names of other products. No, because this does that and this product is better than this one. But if it's not living, uh-uh, there's got to be living cells. You're doing okay? Yes. Excellent. How about there? Okay. And again, we don't have to use all the PRP. The body actually tells us, right? It's a small space. So, you know, more is not necessarily better. I just want to just infiltrate a little bit more here. And that's it. You know, we drew we drew a, a quite a bit of blood, so we have a very very high concentration of PRP. Again, we use in in respect to the indications: heel pain, tendonitis, arthritis of the ankle, arthritis of the foot, arthritis of any part of the foot or ankle, injuries, fractures, uh, you know, uh, acute injuries, uh, ankle sprains. Uh, you name it, the sky's the limit. Now we're going to go right through here. I'm so so. And we're all done. On a three, two, one, and we're done. Yeah. Okay, we're all done. We're all done. Okay. PRP. Are you guys ready? PRP. Can we get a thumbs up? Thumbs up, thumbs up, we're okay, super, thumbs up. PRP could be uncomfortable. Absolutely, even with the anesthesia, let me explain. The reason, if anyone is, well, you know, the patient, you hear the patient, she's, you know, uh, uh, in, in, in some discomfort, clearly, you guys hear it. The problem is that we cannot mix real with fake. The fake is what? The anesthesia. The fake. The real is the PRP. The living cells. Living, non-living, don't go together. So that's why sometimes these blocks that we do, we try to stay really far away from the affected area. You don't want to mix it. A and B. This throbbing that she is actually experiencing right now is going to last about five, seven minutes. Okay. Again. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Another, another thumbs up? A one. <laughs> more and more people are seeking alternatives. You know, cortisone is, is not the only treatment out there. You know, a lot of doctors would say, you have a tendonitis, boom, cortisone shot. Come back in two weeks. They come back in two weeks, boom, and another one. You know what, let's piggyback a little bit of physical therapy. You know what, let's go ahead and do this. Well, let's go ahead and do that. And basically, you know, a lot of Band-Aids not treating the core of the problem. This is it. Remember, I want to be very clear with the public. This is a chronic condition. This is not an acute condition where it's only been two weeks. 
And of course, we have our Gucci. <laughs> with a glove on the top. Or Chanel or Prada, whatever you want to say. Or make believe. But, uh, you know, it's very, very important. You know, regen medicine. We, we definitely also do a lot of the pure P injections for knees, arthritis of the knees. Um, and again, the, the sky is really, you know, the limit. We, we use pure P for a lot of clinical indication. For all of the world out there, on a serious note, on a serious note, how is the procedure? Is it what you expected? Tell the world. I mean, what, what are your thoughts? It's not bad. Um, the whole procedure wasn't bad. Um, I'm hoping to get the results that um, from the pain that excruciating pain that I was getting. So I would do anything to make it heal quicker and better. As always, I will definitely. The patient will, you know, will be back. Uh, we'll just say maybe uh, we'll do a case update on maybe at two three weeks. And let the world know how you know hopefully you're doing much better then as always www.jospodiatry.com instagram dr toe jam Giles podiatry facebook and last but not least our youtube channel just healthcare uh again prp platelet rich plasma have a wonderful day everyone